So I want to dissolve a myth today, which is that it's somehow a good idea to buy a tandem stroller if you're currently pregnant with your first child and you plan to have number two soon after. Because, you see, from dozens of conversations with patrons, I've come to suspect that this is quite a common way of thinking. Reinforced by a seeming ubiquitous campaign by manufacturers and bloggers alike to push buzzwords like future proofing or future ready, which play on people's fear of being financially stupid if they haven't properly planned ahead, and which then, in my experience, pushes them towards models that, quite often, are very much the wrong choice for two reasons. Firstly, because for a lot of lifestyles, the weight and size of tandem models is simply impractical. Tandem strollers are big and heavy. They must be built this way in order to structurally allow for the addition of a second seat. With this size and weight, do come a few advantages for some people, in that you generally get better terrain capability and storage capacity. But these features are only relevant if they're relevant, and they're not relevant if you, for example, live in the suburbs, drive everywhere, and plan on loading a giant chassis in and out of your compact car for the next two years before kid number two shows up or if you live in a city walk-up and get around via crowded public transport. Secondly, tandem strollers can also be a bad choice from the other end, when that second kid does come, because the truth is that tandem strollers are just about the least comfortable sort of model to actually use with two children, since, with that second child loaded low in front, forward-loading models are like long buses, heavy both to steer and tip, while rear-loading models sacrifice storage capacity. And in both cases, tandem configurations also often make it necessary to place your youngest child, the one who generally needs the most attention, the furthest from you. If you already had two children, as in if you were looking for a dedicated two-child stroller and didn't have to worry about how your stroller works for only one child, then you might get a side-by-side -side model instead, where the second child doesn't impact driving or storage, where you have equal access to two children at once, and where you get significantly better maneuverability. But with the concept of future-proofing, aka thinking about your two-child needs while preparing for your first, side-by-side -side models tend to be less appealing, and one is then left with this dilemma, that tandem models are far less than ideal for a lot of lifestyles as one-child strollers, and they're also less than ideal for two children. Which, by the way, is, as I see it, the reason why a manufacturer recently told me during a design consultation that in the end, they only sold one tandem seat for every 10 tandem models, which can be read to mean that, for all the future-proofing planners out there, only one in 10 ever winds up following through. So then, what should you do? My personal advice is this, don't worry about only buying one stroller for your whole period of having kids. Rather, for the first kid, just get the right one-child stroller for your lifestyle. You can always sell it off if you have no use for it later, or if it's smaller, you could keep it for travel, or you may return to it after your period of needing a two-child model is over. And even if the right stroller for your use and environment happens to be one of those tandem-capable models that's awesome for one child as well, such as the Vista, the Demigro, or, for some people, the Geo, then great, but still, let that tandem possibility be the last factor in your decision making, less important than making sure that your stroller use with your first child will be otherwise as comfortable as possible. There is a place for tandem models, by the way. For example, when you're pregnant with your second child and know 100% what the age gap will be. But the concept of future proofing, in my opinion, is not it. This way of thinking most of the time only winds up financially benefiting the manufacturers to your own detriment. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, please subscribe, or even hit the donate button if you're so inclined, as this sort of support really helps us to continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle-related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.